Okay, crocodilians. Depending on how you talk to, there's about 25 to 26 species of crocodiles. Now that includes, there's two species of alligators, there's the Chinese alligator and the American alligator. That includes the species of caimans, which are all South American uh, crocodilians, the spectacled caimans, brown caimans, black caimans, yukaris. I'm leaving somebody else out. It's pretty much it. Uh, and then the rest of them are things like saltwater crocodiles, Siamese crocodiles. Uh, the gharials and gavials are the ones with the really long snouts that come from India and Asia uh, that eat, pretty much exclusively eat fish and very small things because they have really long snouts. Um, saltwater crocodiles are not necessarily found in the salt water. They are the widest ranging crocodiles. They're from all of the way, found in Southeast Asia all the way down to, South, to Australia. They have the ability to transverse the oceans, but they don't necessarily live in the oceans. Okay. Here in Florida, we have where the only, there's only two places in the world where you find crocodiles and alligators living together, no mass hysteria, um, and that's here and in China. There's a little alligator species called the Chinese alligator that's critically endangered that's about a third to half the size of our American alligators, and, uh, and they have crocodilian species in, in China. And then here in, in Florida, we have the American crocodile, which gets up to about Tampa Bay and um, mostly down south. And then, of course, they've had alligators and in pretty much every drop of water in the state of Florida. So, and that's a, that's a true conservation success story because when I first started working in zoos, they were like almost gone. If you had alligators in your zoo, you had something really cool. And now they're all over the place. So, um, crocodilians have digits. Lizards have digits, they have fingers, okay? Um, crocodilians have removable teeth, they're in sockets. In fact, they grow back, so if they lose them, they grow back in place. Um, crocodilians, for the most part, are probably the most intelligent of the reptiles. There's a reason for that. The crocodilians, the, the alligators, the caimans, the crocodiles, have four chambered hearts. So they actually have more mixing of blood, a mixing of oxygen in their blood, and that gives them a more developed brain. So every so often you'll hear about how an alligator has a brain the size of a peanut. Well, they're still pretty smart. And some of the crocodiles are wicked smart. Um, and that's where that comes from. Now, having a three-chambered heart means that you are basically cold-blooded. And cold-blooded means that your metabolism and your body temperature is basically tied to whatever the temperature is around you, okay? So like the gopher tortoises that are hit by a car that get an infection, if it happens in February, they're much harder to try and cure than they are in, say, August because they're not moving around and they're not eating because it's cold. Um, now, the crocodilians actually having a four-chambered heart can produce some of their own heat. They're still cold-blooded and they're tied to their environment, but they have the ability to generate more heat and move around more when it's cold um, than, say, an iguana or a snake does. All right? Um, you don't see alligators north of about Mississippi and, uh, well, Arkansas the, in, the North, in Carolinas because it's too cold up there for them, but they can range that far they can go up and down the Mississippi and the Missouri River, um, and they can generate some of their heat, their own heat. Crocodiles in the winter time, if they're provided a warm source of source of water and a nice basking spot, are much more active than uh, the iguana that's sitting next to them. Okay, um, and that's important, and that's why crocodilians are as intelligent as they are. Some of them are; they can recognize colors. I know they're not supposed to, but they do. They can recognize people. They recognize their names. Uh, they're really, really smart. Alligators aren't quite as bright, but the crocodilians are really smart. They have like these bony thermal plates on their back that is almost like having a, a brick oven. And if the sun comes out, they'll lay out in the sun and those things heat up. And they, on a, on a hot day, it's like sticking your hand on an oven. They'll heat up that much. And say if it's 40 degrees outside and it's sunny, they'll be out catching some rays. But if it's 40 degrees outside and it's overcast, they're going to be in the water where it's warmer. So 
Um, they're very, very well adapted. The caimans, even some of my, my friends down in the, in the Everglades have lost caimans in the wintertime because they just cannot, they're all South America, they cannot handle the cold. They just can't handle it. Um, but alligators get, they got off the way up into Missouri, they've been reported in St. Louis. So, 